Hey gang, it's Ark. Welcome back to our permanent fire challenge here in the Long Dark. Um, so last episode we uh, stockpiled some meat just because we happened to see a lot of deer while we were traveling around. And I got a couple things that I want to work on this episode. Um, so I want to keep making progress towards that forging session. And so, there's a few things that I need. Let me actually see how much water I have. Yeah, I need to put some of this down. Um, I need to get metal and cloth. Mostly metal for the forge, but I also need cloth for repairs. And um, I also want to stockpile birch bark tea, because I'm going to be having to um, go without sleep when I do this massive forging session that's coming up. So, I think what I want to do is... Um, let's take an impromptu trip to a new birch bark location that I haven't um, looted before. And I think I'm going to continue working towards um, fire starting here. I'm trying to decide. I think I actually want to use sticks for this. Oh my goodness, I just wasted a fire striker charge. Maybe I should put the fire striker down while I um, use my torches to light fires. We don't have too much longer to go on this. Okay, so there's one of those. And uh, grab this and cook another one. Come on. Alright, I need to find a new spot to put these. I guess I'll make a stack of them out here somewhere for right now. Okay, and let's get some ready for the road. I'm going to start one more fire. Um, I need another stick, I think. I'll select the torch this time. So there's a couple of fire starting skill points. I'll just try to do that every time I'm at the base and we still have that book to read and we'll be there in Come probably on, one Come or on. two more episodes. I think I already, I might have a little bit more accelerant Perfect. in the form of this lamp oil. I can't remember if I spent that or not. All right, so now we just need to charge up the fire. We're at 25. Yeah, I think I'm good with all my carried gear. Let's just throw this in the junk pile, or near the junk pile. Um, we need to throw a few hours on the fire. And how am I doing on stick uh, torches? Okay, so I need to grab some torches for the road as well, so we better get quite a few sticks here. I guess I'd better use the flask, since we're going on a long trip. Okay, let's fuel up Frankie and head out. Should work out pretty much perfectly. Let's take one more torch and add one more stick. And uh, put this out, grab the other torch, and let's go. Um, I really want to... Yeah, I'm not really happy with... Um, because we are going pretty far. Let's get the thermos out. Put some of these hot teas in. Drop that here. Okay, throw one more stick on. Let me make sure I'm carrying a reasonable amount of coal. Three coal is probably pretty good. 
And then I think I'll carry a couple of pieces of meat so we can leave them at a transition. Come on. Okay, 11.59. That's as good as it's going to get. Leave one more liter of water here. And grab a piece of meat or two and let's go. Okay, so I'm going to the muskeg, which means I better take this as well and drop it off at camp office. And we're currently about five minutes into the episode, so I know I have until an hour and five minutes to get back. Um, this isn't a super long trip. I was thinking about going into Milton, but I really want to have full energy before we go into Milton to harvest cloth. Um, because I want to take the shortcut back where I climb up. And it's better to have some energy for that climb. So today we're heading to Bleak Inlet. We've been there before, but I don't believe I ever looted the birch forest there. Um, and it's pretty close to the cave entrance. Uh, we can also probably do a little mini restock on... ...coal while we're there. Go ahead and throw these feathers in. <laughs> it's too heavy. Okay, um, let me get out all these birch saplings. Okay, so now we can put the feathers in, and we just leave the birch saplings on the floor here. So I'm going to have to look for bad weather opportunities. There's a bunch of like um, indoor stuff that we need to do. Harvesting metal in the dam. Reading the uh, three hours of the fire starting book. Um, I can also spend some time in the early morning during cold weather or just even at night um, starting fires. You know, I don't know exactly how long it takes to get to this forest, but considering that I've um, mapped this route out before and concluded that it's possible to get all the way to the cannery and spend like two hours repairing hatchets at the cannery and still get back in time, I can't imagine that this is going to be too bad. I think we're going to have several hours to spare um, at the end of this run. Just have to keep an eye on the travel time on the way in and make sure that we're not Cutting it close on the way back. So 
So my plan is to take some of this meat and leave it at the entrance to Bleak Inlet. So that I have a stockpile of food there. Um, so I think I might... Yeah, let's grab one of these as well. Because I'm probably going to end up eating... One of the pieces that I'm carrying on the way. In fact, I might need to bring significantly more with me because... I think out of the three pieces that I'm taking, I'll probably eat two during this trip. So I was looking at the journal before I started the episode. We're on day 116, and I think um, it was just a couple of days ago we were up at Marsh Ridge taking out the moose. And on day 110, so six days ago, um, that's when we were at... Coastal Highway. So that's why I decided to go through here, is because um, we've looted pretty much every other birch area, except for the birch forest in Pleasant Valley, which, honestly, I'm not sure I ever want to take the risk of making that trip. It's just so far, especially so far into Pleasant Valley. I think I'll go grab this sapling. Completely optional, but... Oh, hey, it's another maple. I think we have, like, 20 of them. I guess if we have time on the way back, because I don't know if I've ever gone up there. We could loop around up there and maybe grab some teas and stuff. I'm not going to take time grabbing any of these teas on the way. We can grab these on the way back if we want. There are quite a few mushrooms in this area of the map. Finally got bored. We're warming up in the wind shelter now, so... Probably no need to drink the teas then. I am a little bit wary of this heavy snowfall. But I got plenty of matches. I can always just um, pay to start a fire at some point. I think I will... Um, maybe we'll throw on the crampons just in case we have to be on the ice here. And I think I'll try to stick to this slope. Okay, let's do a little bit of running here. Crampons plus the running should keep us from getting a sprain. Okay. That's probably all I need those for. Let's go back to warmth. So of our one hour travel allotment, it looks like it takes about 10 minutes to get to the cave here. And then probably another five minutes to get through it. Hmm. Don't really care about spray paint. So I'll confirm that once we get to the other side and uh, 
And then we'll just try to allow that much time for the return trip. I think I'm going to pick up a few more sticks, and we need to start a fire and get more torches. There we go. I don't think we're going to be able to get any of this coal, but we can try. Now, I think I tried this before. It's a shame that so much of it spawned way back there where it can't be collected. Okay, we have some, uh... Let me see how many sticks I have on me right now. Some stuff to carry back next time. Let's just keep going. I don't think carry weight is going to be an issue. It's going to be a pretty short run. check all the little side passages um, on the way out if we have time. I'm not going to spend time on it now. This way so we don't have to crawl through the little crawl space and then we just bear right and that should take us to the exit yeah that loops back around I don't think we were here very recently so I'm surprised we're not seeing more respawned coal it's been quite a while since I did the leak inlet loop to get the cannery code, from what I remember. Here's a piece of coal. Ah! Yeah, I've got a 49 and a 50 left, so I should really start a fire. Um, with what's left of this torch. So yeah, less than 15 minutes from the cave entrance here. So that's good to know for the trip back. It seems foggy. Uh, turning to light snowfall. Oh, um, I'm going to go all the way back to the entrance because I want to drop the meat in a notable location. Some place I'll definitely see it. So we'll go for right here. And then I'm going to eat one of these, I think. Okay, maybe we will only eat one on this trip. I definitely don't want to be carrying all that scent um, through the Timberwolf territory. Planning to stay up here out of their way. We're going to have to reheat our teas if we want to use one. Oh, 
Wow, look at this guy here. This is like a larger version of the normal scrub brush. I don't think I've ever seen one that large. Go check out that hunting blind while we're here too, I think. So I'm not really sure how much birch bark is even here. Um, we'll have to do a count. Right now I have... Looks like I don't have any on me. Um, let's just go here and see... Paired birch bark, yeah. I have no birch bark on me, so... You can just count how much we collect here. This is a moose spawn point, so gotta keep an eye out. Although I'm a bit surprised I don't see the um, moose markings. The timber wolves in sight, as far as I can tell. Yeah. Using up all my good torches here. Oh well, it's fine. Now that I know I've checked the hunting blind, I probably won't be returning to it, so I'll go ahead and grab the recipes as well. This is a pretty small birch forest, it looks like. I'm hoping we'll still get quite a few back in that area, but it does not look too promising. Yeah, this might not be worth adding to the rotation. I think we'll probably have some failed trips into Bleak Inlet for... Um, Trying to get an aurora on our way to the cannery. So this might end up just being a place that I visit when um, I come in and there's no aurora and I'm just looking for something to do. You're gonna lose the torch. Probably just relight in the cave. Yep, there it goes. And it looks like that's already it. So yeah, really not worth it. We go look at uh, ingredients. Tinder? Something. Eight. So I got a measly four T's out of this. Yeah, really not worth the time spent. Now I got a lot of time. What I just hear? Hmm, I don't know. I got a lot of time left. But it's kind of nasty here. I think we'll go back to Forlorn Muskeg and then, depending on the weather. Um, we can spend some time looting around in there. On the way home. So yeah, definitely going to save that for just any time I'm in the region and don't have anything else to do and have extra time on the way home. 
I guess at this point I'm just going to grab as many so sticks as possible to carry back with me. Sticks and coal from the cave. Turn this into a mini... Extremely inefficient firewood run. Another hunter's blind somewhere down there, but probably better save for a different Do I trip. If at home, we'll warm up soon. You know, now that I think about it, I probably didn't even need to spend this match. It's uh, the middle of the day, so I could have navigated through this cave in the dark, possibly. But it's fine. That's two matches spent today, if you count the Fire Striker from earlier. Pretty high, considering I go for weeks at a time without spending any matches. Okay, so we already checked the left side, so let's loop around to this side. Really thought there would be more coal in this cave. Okay, and did I check this area over here? It looks like I did. Yep, nothing there. Hey, we got another piece of coal. <laughs> Alright, final torch. I might as well start a little fire in here. We'll pull some torches off, get our teas heated up for the return trip. And I've got so much time left that I think we'll do that upper loop. Hopefully I didn't already do that. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Might as well carry everything back here with me. Including these boots, which I'm guessing I left there because we can harvest them for leather. Or I, I mean, I'm, I think I brought them this far because they're probably efficient for leather. Um, just burn a stick. I think I'll save the book for later. Come on, little fire. I do have a lot of sticks, but some of that was um, stuff that I had already collected previously. Oh yeah. Okay, let's put this out. That's a good one. Let's go ahead and get the teas. <laughs> this is why I don't like using this thing. Got to get the teas out. And then we got to put them on the ground. Let's go ahead and put some sticks on here. Okay, those are all getting ready. 
probably want roughly 10 torches. Okay, I'm gonna throw one or two sticks on here just in case I want to come back for it. My torch gets blown out. But I think since I have teas in a thermos. Yeah, we seem to be fine in the wind shelter. So I think even if this gets blown out, we'll just continue our trip. Oh, you know what? There's the uh, there's the helicopter. I don't think I've been up there, right? So we can not only go up uh, here and loot all the teas and stuff and the saplings. I love my clothing. Uh, windy and snowy. Like, it looks miserable, but I'm just so warm. I'm a little worried about this torch going out, so I don't think I'm going to toy with this wolf at all. Leave a few sticks behind. We'll probably come through here again at some point. Although, I don't know, if I really clean this area out, there won't really be any point in returning. Maybe I should make an effort to do that. Uh, we'll probably come up here to repair the tower at some point. That'll give us one aurora for sure. We lose this wolf on these rabbits. So many mushrooms up here. I guess while I'm up here, I have some time. I could take stock and see what's needed um, 
for the tower. I don't know, I have a feeling that this is one of those things, since there's only like three towers I can reach. It's um, something that I might want to save for later. And so I'll probably just end up always saving it for later and not actually making use of it. It's a common problem with the... Um, um, what's the word? Limited resources, I guess. Alright, helicopter, what do you got for me? Is there more than one? No, there's just the single hatch there and the single hatch on the side. Okay. Okay, get them on this side. Like nothing up front. Wonder if there can be stuff on the seat that you're sitting on. I think I can use this. Hey, we got some cloth. Makes the whole trip worth it. <laughs> now we can get a lot more cloth in Milton. I hate that you can't open these. We can open these. It's just the two, um... It's the two right here, you have to use the little, um... Uh, I guess the torch glitch, where you can, um, like, force yourself to be able to look around. Okay, that's the seat I was on. It has nothing on it. Alright, time to head home. Grab a few more uh, teas or whatever on the way out of here. Um, we get under here. There we go. I think we can just go down here, in fact. All that for uh, one piece of cloth. That's Harmigans. It does sound like Harmigans. I wonder if he got one. Oh, they're right here. Um, do I want a Harmigan right now? Oh, I don't have any stones on me. I almost feel like the wolf might come get a Harmigan. Get out of here. I'm taking this ptarmigan home with me. Free ptarmigan? <laughs> I mean, I'm heavy. It's uh, a little bit inefficient. Plus, we're going to have to dodge wolves on the way back now with no torch, but... I don't care. Getting a free ptarmigan is too cool. I actually have time to just harvest it right now, I think, but... I'm not going to risk that. Actually, maybe once we get into Mystery Lake, I can just harvest it at the entrance there. Because we'll, uh, we'll be getting the burn bonus. Hilariously <sighs> enough. Yeah. Let's just leave this stuff here. Okay, so we need to bring more stuff back. Piece of fuel. I'll take that. 
Ooh, two pieces of fuel. Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a heavy trip back. Yeah, carrying that ptarmigan all the way back is uh, looking pretty silly. Wait, isn't there a good way down here? Well, for sure there was a good way to go down. We'll make it work. Yeah, this is fine. Hmm, there was probably a flat ground spot that I missed. Let's see if we can get onto this little lip here. Okay, there's the cleared sprain risk. That's what I was looking for. Probably do it again there, but I think I'll just go down to the bottom. We may get a sprain here because it's going to take a while. Oh, there goes my bow. Might end up sacrificing the storm again to a wolf. I'm trying to get vision here. Resist. I'm just going to keep loading up. I could drink a hot tea, but I'm just going to take the damage on the way home. And if there is a wolf, yeah, there's one there coming my way. And if there's one up there, he's probably going to come down and around, so... I think we'll loop up around this way. Do you guys see how long it was between when the hypothermia risk popped up and when the circle actually went to red? Oh, I wonder if that has to do with the cold. rate at which you're losing temperature. And because I was um, losing it so slowly, it took a long time. Okay, so if there's a wolf, it's up there, so we'll loop all the way around. And I think we'll just leave a bunch of sticks at the entrance here. We'll um, upscotch them from where we had them back there up to the uh, up to the transition where we can grab them at our convenience. There's no point in doing this long trudge home at this speed. In fact, um, I'm tempted to just leave them here because when we eventually do our forging, we'll take them a little bit further. Surrounded by snow and nothing to drink. I really don't like trudging at these slow paces. Just feels so inefficient. I must be carrying an absolute ton of stuff. Think how nice it would be to just be able to switch to my new side satchel. Get an extra five kilos. We're only about... Seven days out from being able to craft that.
There are wolves coming. Nothing coming from that direction. Okay, I think we dropped stuff right here at the corner. Dropped like 30 of them. Still over, but we'll be moving a lot faster once we get out of the wind. I guess it's mostly the wind that's um, causing me to move at this ridiculous pace. Go! <laughs> yeah, it's actually just the wind and not the weight after all. Well, we still got 20 minutes to get home. So much faster in the shelter here. Gotta try to stay in wind shelter. Okay, did I collect anything that needs to go in camp office? I don't believe so. I don't know why I'm going to all the trouble to carry this ptarmigan back. It's very easy for me to get all the ptarmigans I could ever need just in this region. I think because it was free, I'm just um, to rest soon. assigning a higher value to it. Even though that's incorrect. Okay, since we have plenty of time, I'll step into camp office. We can uh, get warmed up for a second to stop taking extra damage. And uh, it'll create a save point. Interesting that that fur limb is back. Wonder if that means we're about to get to do a full, um, full harvest of the lake firewood. It does seem like it's been a while since the last time I went all the, um, all around and got all the fur limbs. Anything to stash? I don't think I got anything notable. Got a couple of saplings I can cure. Oh yeah, I picked up all these. Um, Ugh, my tongue feels like sandpaper. Rosehip and reishi. Um, I'll organize this later. Let's just get these on the ground. And then Yeah, the work boots. I guess I'll take them back now. Just to get warmed up a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and grab this meat with the knife. Okay. I 
can't get over there. There's a thing in the way. Leave camp office. Yes, please. Hmm, Aurora Knight. What do we do with this? We don't have any crafting we have to do. Although, did, did I ever make my backup bow? Could potentially just go up some arrow shafts and I think I might actually have some broken arrows I kind of do need to sleep to heal though let's see if this is um Back as well, the fur limb over here. I don't see it. Now, so I don't think everything's respawned yet. Only need a few more days for it to all to come back. Let's just cook something while we're here. We only have about 40 minutes of um, organization to do. Lots of ptarmigan. Eventually we'll convert all that into the broth, maybe. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to do that before we, um... That's what I can do before we forge, because we can use the broth, um... In addition to the birch bark teas. Although I guess I have plenty of reishi teas, too. I mean, technically, broth is also finite because of the salt requirement. I don't really care about using up finite teas since I do have the um, renewable tea source though. Alright, uh, might as well go ahead and get some fires started. Let's grab one or two more sticks. And we gotta remember to switch to that and switch to sticks. Come on, little fire. Yeah, unfortunately, I think I'm just going to waste this Aurora. Wait, what's going on here? Don't I have a stick that I just picked up? There we go. The one thing I could do is go chop that single limb that I saw. Nah, I don't even know if it's worth the time to walk all the way over there. Oh, let me check my bow condition. If it's time to make a new bow, then maybe I'll go do that. The thing is, I really did want to sleep. What can I do tomorrow? Do something safe, like just harvest metal in the dam. We can use a few birch barks. This is the one that's almost dead, right? Yeah, 5%. And then this one is 40%, so I do need to make a new one.
Okay, as silly as it is, I think we're pulling an all-nighter. At least until the Aurora is over. I need to ditch a ton of carry weight because we're going to be... limping around um, with a max 25 kilo capacity. Um, let's see, can I make another Birch Park tea? No, I need to prep it first. All right, well, let's just make a little bit of water while I finish getting set up here. I've got two arrowheads. Yeah, so once I'm done with the bow, I can also make some additional arrows. All right, let's go get this done. Okay, anything else that I want to organize? Um, let's go ahead and get these out. I'm going to leave the flask here. Let's make sure I drop it in a reasonable spot. Um, knife, hatchet's starting to get low. Right, the ptarmigan will harvest later. That we'll probably do here after the aurora is over. I uh, need a little bit of water for this crafting trip. And what else are we looking at? Probably carry a few pieces of meat over there with me. Well, not during the aurora. It's a bad idea. Leave this here to harvest later. Okay, so I'm wearing everything except for the crampons. That's fine. Food. Tools. I got a few too many torches. Eh, we're only a little bit over 25. That's fine. Oh, right. All the reishi and recipes. Let's get rid of all that junk. It'll be in this drawer. Uh-oh. Uh, running out of capacity. 480 recipes. That's probably why I stopped collecting tea ingredients. Yeah, we've got 13 birch bark. really doesn't weigh very much. Alright, I guess I'm making... I'm adding some ingredients in here now. Okay, let's just go. We're not going to work for 12 hours straight. Um, I got my arrowheads. Everything else I need is there. We don't need a torch for this walk. Yep, I think we're good. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about this is we're going to lose... ...about 20% of our health over the next... 20 hours until the next opportunity to sleep. So we're going to be a little bit low. Probably use one or two birch bark teas and then the 10 hour rest tomorrow night. But this will be, a, um, this way I'll be ahead on my crafting, um, which is good because I'm going to need to craft the new side satchel soon. So getting the bow out of the way now is smart. And the arrows. I didn't bring any meat with me. I think we still have a few pieces of food over here, though. Yeah, there's some food there. So, so hard. 
All right, so I'm going to need a maple. Hopefully I've got one in the... Where's the drawer? There it is. I do not, but we're going to need two cured guts. I probably want this, and I should probably use this knife and put my knife away. Just for right now. Yeah, let's take a birch sapling, and let's see if we can find a maple. It should be over here in the corner, right? I think I dropped a bunch of stuff here. Yeah. There's a maple. Okay, so we want to make the bow. Actually... Now let's just go ahead and make the arrows so I have them done. And then we'll do as much as we can on the bow. Okay, we need some feathers. And no more arrowheads in here. Fair enough. So we can make... Just the two arrows. So that's uh, one and a half. So that's a little over two hours of crafting. And let's drink some water. And put three hours into the knife. I mean into the bow. And we lost our light. Okay, so I didn't even get three hours in. That's fine though. Um, the important thing is we got a bunch of crafting done. So let's put everything away. Get my good knife back and put the tools away. We've got my arrows. We're working on this bow. That doesn't weigh anything while we're working on it. That's good to know. And I put this arrow shaft away. Okay, I think that's everything. Let's um, give another bottle of water up here for the future. And let's just leave through this door. Hello? Where am I looking? Leave camp office. Sure. Okay, so now what time is it? It is pretty late. I could go ahead and sleep 10 hours and just uh, sleep away a lot of the morning. Um, the other thing I could do is harvest the ptarmigan, get some clothing repairs done, and go ahead and commit to this uh, sleepless night thing. I think about it while we trudge home in this wind. I think I'll just um, sleep away the cold morning. If we were able to work until dawn, then it would make sense to commit to the all-nighter. But with my health this low, and I'm trying to preserve my birch bark teas, we might as well just get a bunch of health and energy to expand on my options for tomorrow. We're well past the point of needing to really cheese all the systems to squeeze every last bit of efficiency out. Okay, so let's throw a couple of fur on here. Um, I'm trying to think, do I need to do anything? I guess I should eat, and then we'll sleep. <sighs> 
All right, just got the sprain. For 10 hours. Beautiful day. I'm just about anything right now. Feels like one degree. Wait, was I still too close to the fire? No, it just straight up feels like one degree. All right, well, uh, let's see. Is that fur limb back yet? No. Well, I got to do something useful with this, so let's throw a few more fur on the fire, and I'm just going to walk around and potentially harvest some stuff. I'm not going to bother with torches or anything. Let's just go straight for the fur limb I know about. And uh, we'll come back and harvest the ptarmigan and do some other stuff when the weather turns. But for right now, I'm going to take advantage of this. Go through, throw a few more sticks on the fire. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with torches or teas or anything. Double check my carry weight. We're at 27, which seems high. What am I carrying that's so heavy? I can't believe I was carrying those around. Um, okay, we'll say that's good enough for now. Drink some water, and I should... Maybe carry some more food over to the camp office. Okay, so I'm thinking the one area that I know that there are limbs that I need to go get is kind of in between um, trappers and unnamed pond. So I th think I'm just going to walk straight for that sort of line area and um, see what I can do over there. We will just go ahead and chop the limb that's right here just to be efficient. And um, that way if the weather changes early on, we can just make a different plan for the day. Yeah, in a way, I mean, eventually, we're going to be stuck with windy weather in a situation where we don't have anything else to do. And that's when I need to do stuff like read my book, um, you know what I might as well do, since we're right here by camp office, I think I'm just going to leave these fur here so I don't have to lug them everywhere. Oh, that's the other thing I was going to check. What do my notes say about bears? Lake Bear was around day 81. So, yeah, we still theoretically have until day 130, which is going to be well after I craft my Moosehide Satchel. Yeah, so we're really not looking for any bears to respawn anytime soon. There's also limbs kind of along the wall over there. It's also a birch bark spawn that I never check. Yeah, let's do that. Kind of head over that way. Grab a couple of these along the way. Probably going to wear this hatchet out.
So many cedar limbs. Why did I come all the way over here with no food? What was I thinking? Do we just go... I think we just go up to the exit here and grab a piece of food, because I'm not going to make it very far if I don't eat. This is why it's nice to have food just placed around the map like this. I guess I brought food and left it at the camp office because I didn't want to carry it around when I don't have a torch, so... It's not the most unreasonable thing. It just feels like I should have eaten. Probably had room to eat one piece of meat before I came this way. Okay, so we are out of food here. So I need to remember to... I have to go in here to eat this. Um, I have to remember to restock this area. Remembering isn't my strong suit. leave these fur here. Uh, do I want to do that? Nah, I think I just, because I'm, I'm not going to have that much carry weight anytime I'm coming back from the muskeg. So I think I do want to, from here on, I'm probably just going to make a little loop back. So I'll probably be getting closer and closer. Um, by the time I'm overweight, I'll probably already be closer than I was at this point. That's the right way to look at it, I think. I think I'll clean up these campfires while we're here, too. Return this area to its natural state. Um, now... Grab some more branches. Oh, there's another fur limb. I guess I'll go get it. As we're not going to be back this way for a while, I imagine. I mean, I guess what this means is we're basically done. Because I already got, what, three or four fur limbs? And it's getting pretty late. Feels like night is coming. So it's going to start to get colder. I think we just grab as much as we can on the way back and call it a day. I should have more food over at the deadfall area. I didn't even make it to the birch bark that I was planning to check on. Usually just like one or two pieces though, so. Um, I think I need to be pretty good though about not eating food from my stashes around the map. Unless it's like a stash that's really overpopulated. Um, unless I actually need it before I get home. Like right now, even if I chop a few more limbs on the way home, I'm not going to run out of food before we get back. So I think I grab this fur limb. Should have enough light for this one. Probably no more after this one, though. Now we're officially overburdened. Yeah, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Wolves 
do like to hang out around here. And I may have killed this wolf recently. Well, now I have some time to kill before I'm even tired. Although we'll see what it looks like once I get back. Um, so this might be a good night to do. What I'll probably do is start two fires and then read an hour of the book. Start two fires, read an hour of the book. I'll try to finish the book tonight. Maybe we'll have to wait until the next night, though. Oh, I don't even need to uh, sleep the full amount, though. You have to do it by time as well. I might want to plan to... Um, Wake up fully rested, and maybe this is our opportunity to do that run into Milton. Maybe. Okay, so let's see if I can find the fur limbs that I left up here for firewood. This is it right here, maybe? Or is it the... Yeah, this is it. I need to find food. Okay, grab a save real quick. been a long time since I've dealt with any major crash issues, but I'm still a little paranoid. Um, especially since we just, what, chopped four or five limbs and harvested a bunch of sticks, and I haven't had a save that whole time. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Okay, so after we get rested tonight, if we have good weather, I think I'll go to Milton. If we have bad weather, I'll... Um, I don't need to finish crafting the bow right now, so I'll probably go harvest metal in the dam. It's a goddamn freezing. But I might end up using, I think I have a couple whetstones left. I might end up using those on my hatchet because I really don't want to start forging again until I'm, um, until I've kind of prepped everything for it. I need a little bit more metal. I need, um, fire starting five. I need a bunch of birch bark teas. So we probably try to make one more trip through all the birch areas. Um, all two of them. Oh, I guess there's the ones in Mystery Lake, too. Fifteen for firewood. In the amount of time that we only needed two of them to pretty much refill it. I can live with that. Okay, so let's um let's just get some water going so that we have something happening. And uh let's take a water and drink. 
I think I need to eat too, right? Yeah. Come on, little fire. Come on. Really want to get fire starting five knocked out. As soon as I do that, I think I'm just going to disassemble these fires. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Um, We can start cleaning up this area. I always thought that I would put a lot more time into kind of cleaning up the on, area around the base and making it look nice. Um, oh, I was planning to hang some hides on the walls, but I recently learned, Perfect. um, in my Mountaineer's Hut exploits, um, that that's not possible because this is an outdoor area. Um, but we might be able to figure out some other things to do to, uh, kind of make the area look cool. Okay, let's put this out, and let's finally make some more progress on this book. It shows me going all the way to the top. I don't believe that's correct. Um, so I'm going to keep starting fires. And then I believe we still have some accelerant handy. Come on, little fire. Which, I think I'll use that. Um, you know what? I'm just going to use it now. Let me see if I can find that. Because I'm not going to use any accelerant. I'm not going to carry any around with me once we're level... Um... Level 5. <sighs> so I'm willing to just waste it to get to level 5. So much more pleasant to do. All right, let's grab this. Is that another batch? Uh, we can put this torch out and read another chapter. Okay, so one more hour after this. It's technically time to go to bed, but I think I'm going to wrap this up tonight. I just want to see how much we have left to do. So let's uh, start two more fires. Let me see if we have some accelerant in... I think I already used all these, actually. No, I didn't. Okay. We'll use... Uh, torch, stick, and... Oh, I forgot to pick up sticks. Okay. And lamp oil. There we go. Seriously? Alright, whatever. Um, let's just... 12 minutes until boiled. Uh, let's craft a couple of birch bark teas. Just to kill that time. Okay, grab this. All right, one more hour of reading. Let's see. Uh, let's see how this does. Okay, so there it is. I don't believe that we hit level five, so it was lying to me. But I was expecting that. So we probably have like ten fires left to start. Um, I don't need to heal tonight. So, let's grab a couple of fur. Throw one on here. Nope, oh, we need a torch. Um, Alright, now I need to clean up my inventory here. So we're going to drop the book. 
we're gonna drop this book. Um, I'm gonna drop the accelerant. For, well, no, I'm I'm just gonna use this up. That's fine. Okay, and then I'm gonna drop the fire striker. Okay, so now when we go to start these, it should just give me. Uh, okay, I need to drop the mag lens, and I need to drop the fur as well. Okay. Perfect. Uh, that won't take the fur yet. So we'll put the fur in the pile. Okay, hopefully this will now not give me all the options that I don't want. And we can just quickly do that. Okay, uh, I want to go ahead and get started on the ptarmigan. just check something here um what are we looking at we've got 0.67 no we got 0.71 liters that's the only lamp oil i have right so if i go here yeah okay that's fine perfect okay um we're gonna do another oh let's grab some meat first I'm just gonna knock this out tonight. I know I should be sleeping, but I want to get the ptarmigan harvested too, so um, let's save this torch for later. Harvest another feather off of this. So we're definitely not going to Milton tomorrow, um, but maybe we can just get what little sleep we need and then go harvest metal in the dam or something. Um, that'll be ready in 40 minutes. Uh, I already had it on the right thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's, that's it for good. this one. Oh my goodness. I have no idea I had this much. I thought I already used these. Alright, well, let's do this one. Okay, so we're done with that one now. And then I think I'm going to use up the last of my accelerant before I... There's none in there. Yeah, so I'll use um, this final two accelerant. Put this out. Uh, how's this doing? 28 minutes. Perfect. No, the wind is going to come and stop me from starting fires. It knows. Oh. Okay, wait. Why don't I have my accelerant? Am I crazy? Did I spend my last two accelerant without realizing it? Wait, I'm looking in the wrong place right now. I'm so confused right now. I was so sure that I had two left. 
Huh, I must have spent them. Alright, well, I don't think this is going to let me uh, start fires right now, so let's wait for the wind to stop. Uh, go ahead and grab another... Grab the last feather off of this. Okay, so that's finished. Um, I'm not going to pick all that up until we're done with the fire starting. Still, still being a pain. 41 minutes until boiled. All right, one hour of sleep then. Okay, I think the wind is going to let us finish now. Let's just see how we're doing. Um, it's going to be here and here. <laughs> oh my goodness, just a couple fires left. Okay, here we go. Grab this. Let's start some new water. Alright, I need to grab my jerry can. It's got all the oil in it. Do that. Perfect. Is that it yet? Apparently not. Yes! Fire starting level five, master. This is, I'm pretty sure maybe I got this in my Nogoa series. I can't remember if this is the first time I've gotten Fire Starting 5. It might be. So apparently, I, I kept the same fire going for, what, 118 days? But only just now am I finally actually a master at fire starting. I guess I didn't need to do much fire starting. I'm uh, more of a fire keeping master than a fire starting master. Alright, um, so let's take a look at the stats that you get from that. Oh, it feels so good to have that done. Um, so, fire starting, level 5. You're the Fire Whisperer. Thank you. I needed that. 90% chance, and I believe this is increased with... Um, is it really 90% base? Because I think even Reclaimed Wood gives you a... Um, fires start 50% faster. This is wrong. It's 100% faster. They start twice as fast. Um, it takes 50% less time to start fires, but... Uh, what that means is that they start 100% faster. Fires last 50% longer, that's true. And can start fires without tinder. We've had that for a while. 50% longer. So we're up from 25% longer to 50% longer. So now, let's see how much time one fur adds. I'm not sure I can carry much more. So we're at 7. I'll wait until 55. 7.55 up to 10.10. So, 15 minutes on the top of the fact that it went from 8 to 10, so 2 hours and 15 minutes. 2 and a quarter. Yep, that makes sense, because it's 1 and a half base. And then with the burn bonus, that 2 and a quarter is actually 4 and a half hours under ideal circumstances. Which means that a single fur limb chop gives us four and a half hours times three, because you get three of them, so um, 13 and a half hours from a fur limb. So we need less than two fur limbs per day. Our fuel is going to be so much more efficient now. So yeah, so now the the target time that this needs to reach for me to be able to add a fur limb is um, nine hours and 45 minutes. I guess nine hours and 44 minutes, since it doesn't go above 11.59 Oh, it's so great. Okay, so let's um, let's go line these up over here. We won't need these anymore, other than refueling lanterns. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm going to celebrate by throwing away a massive amount of ruined torches. Drop any of this gear. We need the efficiency even less. So I am not going to be wasting all the time to harvest these. Here, let's just let's go crazy with it. I would do anything for a drink right now. Okay, so let's put the torches that I want, which is going to be everything that's about 30% and up. Hey, she wants some water. Oh, we also have 10 liters of water on us. Better get rid of some of that. Okay, get rid of all these dumb torches. Okay, any more? These are the good ones. Let's just clean up around here. Those are what? Part of my path? I guess I'll leave those for now. Those are part of a path. I think I was planning to use these to make a path. I'll leave them there. And then those are good torches. And these are good torches. Okay. I think that's good enough for now. Uh, let me see if I want to drop any of these to save them for later. Yeah, we got some good ones in here. Okay, get out of here. We're a fire master. We don't need ruined torches. Okay, and over here... Um, why did I put these here? Oh, I was out of room inside. Looks like a new day is dawning. Okay, so I'll save some of the medium torches here. That looks good. So it's technically morning. It's very cold. So now would be a good time to go do some... Either some crafting or go to the dam and harvest metal. Alright, so now that I'm done with this, I want to... Take my fire striker, my mag lens, my book. That would have been a disaster if I forgot all that stuff. The Survive the Outdoors book, I'm just going to leave here for right now. Um, let's take this. Leave some more water here. I don't know, should I just go finish the bow? I think there's no point in sleeping. I'm just going to get exhausted today. I might as well intentionally get exhausted. <laughs> it's going to happen anyway. Thinking about it. Good walk over to the dam. Now, I think because it's just the cold morning right now. I don't need that bow right now. Now let's go to the dam. Alright, so I'm gonna leave the uh I'm gonna leave a bunch of stuff here. I kinda need the hatchet in case of a wolf attack. Okay, since I don't care about warmth in the dam. I'm going to do something a little bit ridiculous. I'm going to leave my inside bearskin coat here. To save some carry weight. For the road home. 
And I'm really going to commit to just going into the dam to harvest stuff all day, I think. Because um, it needs to be done, and it's it's not really happening at the current rate. I guess I'll carry a bow with me, just in case I want to kill a wolf. But I think I've killed them recently, so let's drop several of the arrows here. Cold. So cold. I think this leaves me with two arrows. Okay. Hot. How's my carry weight? Nice and low. I'd prefer if it was a little bit lower. We're not going to need the book. Uh, we're not going to need that many torches either, now that I think about it. Just carry three. Okay, I got a few things I should be putting away, but I think I'm I think I'm low enough now that I can go ahead and make this walk over. Do need to get warm first. So let's cook a tea real quick. And let's grab a fur for the fire. It's gonna take it almost to max. Yep, <laughs> just so good. Alright, so when this is done, we should be ready to head out. Um, nor normally I'd end the episode around now, but I think, um, I'll quickly go do this metal run at the dam. Just kind of worked out that it's the best thing to do today because I have no energy after spending all night on fire starting. Okay, so we got 11.59 on there. I forgot that the sticks were going to grant me extra from what they used to, so let's just go. Um, I'll take a torch for the walk. Now, I believe... Don't we have a hacksaw over there at the dam? Let me just see if I have a hacksaw here. I do, so I better take this with me just in case. You know I have the lantern over there. Okay, so I believe it takes less than five minutes to walk over there. Currently, 1.44 on the episode timer. So, I mean, the timer doesn't really matter that much. I just need to make sure I allow enough time for the return trip. For the, for the return, we can actually go overland. I'm not going to worry about the little bit of cold I'll take on the way over there. Because we'll just heal that up anyway. I could drink that birch tea, but it's completely unnecessary. Probably should have brought food and water with me. But hopefully we still have our emergency rations over here. Yeah, I'm a lot colder than normal because I ditched the second bear coat. I can't feel my hands. This looks like it's going to turn out to be a really good choice because if this turns into a blizzard, I've never felt so cold in my life. Then I need to just spend it in the dam anyway. Now, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure that I have a hacksaw over there. Uh, the only reason I might have brought it back is if I thought it needed repairing. I really hope I don't end up here <laughs> with a saw that needs to be repaired, and I mean, I guess if it's low, like if it's like 40 to 50%, I can just do really large items, like the ones that take like two or three hours, and just get a couple of them and then head back. 
I seriously doubt I let it get so low that um, I won't be able to at least use it like three times. Um, I don't think I brought any firewood with me. So we're not going to cook that. Oh, uh, I would like to maintain my torch for a little bit. Come on. Oh my goodness, I'm going to... I almost spent a... Or no, I guess I have my fire striker, so... Ever since they did that update, I should really switch over to um, the method where you just open your inventory, drop the torch on the ground, because then it won't roll. But I got so used to the other version. Oh, man. I still have a pile of junk there that needs to be carried back. Um, I got so used to the other version where you throw it that it's kind of ingrained... So yeah, what did I say? 144, so it's not even five minutes to get over here. Plus we have the burn bonus. So even if I allow the time without the burn bonus, we could afford to spend roughly 10 hours harvesting in the dam. Of course, we'll be doing some time walking around, so there's no way I would spend more than nine hours on the actual harvesting. Okay, I'm really glad I brought the hacksaw. So apparently, do I not have another hacksaw? Maybe I still need to find one. Um, okay, so I definitely want the lantern. Let's check the... Yeah, I got plenty of durability on the hacksaw, so I must have brought it back to be repaired. That must have been my reasoning. Um, so I'll have to decide here whether I want to... Um, leave the hacksaw behind. I think, are these pretty efficient? Four metal. So four metal would usually take uh, an hour and a half. So then I'm paying almost an extra hour just to get two cloth. Don't think that's really worth it. I'm going to spend just a couple of minutes here. This should be the same, right? Just a couple of minutes coming up with a plan. Um... Yeah, so these ones that kind of just give the standard amount, it's better to just do the largest thing possible, which is these shelves that give eight for three hours. So I think I'll do a few of those. And then it's the larger uh, benches that give a better ratio. So as long as I've got this torch out, and my lantern has plenty of fuel, as long as I've got the torch going... I'm going to go up here and investigate those benches. Because I think there will be a few in here. These are all chairs. Maybe there's not going to be any benches. Maybe I already got the couple that existed. I think there's some at the park office in Milton, but that's like I would go all the way over there and harvest one and then come back. Um... Okay, it's all just chairs. Never mind. Oh, this is interesting. So six would ordinarily cost... Wait, so four is... Um, it's two for 45. So yeah. Um, two hours and 24 minutes gets me four. Two hours and... 36 minutes gets me six. I think this is pretty good, and it gives me cloth. I'm not going to work out the exact details of it. Let's put the torch out. we got plenty of time. So while I'm doing this, let me just think about this. So it would be an hour and a half plus another 45 minutes. So it would be 2.15. Yeah, so this is slightly less efficient, but I'm getting the... Um, Go ahead and take these small efficient items as well. 
Um, slightly less efficient, but I'm getting the um. Man, I am too tired to think straight. Single piece of cloth. Single piece of cloth, along with it. I think there's another good chair here. So we need to pull the lantern out. Okay, so we spent about three hours on harvesting so far. Here's the good one. Okay. So this will bring us up to, we'll call it six hours. I'm going to be really careful with the timing here. so hungry in my life. Okay, so I'll grab this and then we'll leave, I think. I really don't want to push it. <laughs> I believe I lost well fed. Oh well. I kind of saw it at the last minute Damn and I was about to hit escape so but then hungry. it uh it was already gone well that's gonna make this trip back painful um okay so question is, do I want to... I guess I just leave the hacksaw here. Especially since it's heavy. Okay. No point in eating now. Uh, we'll just get 10 hours of sleep tonight. Um, restart the timer on well-fed then. Let's just reset and see if we can avoid this wolf completely. I don't want to take any risks right now. Let me just make sure. Yeah, we're a little over, but it's not slowing us down that much. Oh, this always happens to me. The panic starts to set in because it's like, wait, how long did I spend in the dam? It was like less than nine hours of harvesting, but there was some walking time in there. Like, say I spent five minutes, and that was ten hours total. Yeah, no, we should still be fine. Because then it's, uh, it took me less than an hour to get here, so we have three hours to get back. <laughs> we should be fine. It's just, I don't know. Always wants to, uh, wants to cause a panic. I'm not going to worry about getting a sprain here because... Getting a bit thirsty. Yeah, I did clear the sprain risk there. Maybe I could, I don't know, I could eat a rosehip pie and do some running if I wanted to.
All depends on how confident I am about the timing. I think I'm pretty confident. It's very hard to listen to um, ignore the voice in my head that says, but what if, right? Because we're, we're so far into the run and it almost always feels like, oh, I should spend more resources to make sure I didn't mess it up. Or to make sure I don't mess it up. Like maybe I did mess it up already, and now I need to just um, spend the resources to climb back out of the hole. Considering the time of day, though... My fingers feel numb. Like, if you just look at it from that perspective, we left, like, um, mid-morning. So that means even with no burn bonus at all, we'd have until the moon is, like, up here. So there's really basically no risk that this went wrong. Yeah, so it looks like we still have no fur I'm freezing. No fur respawn up here. I'm gonna be looking at quadruple red on my stats here in a second. Pretty funny. Oh, it's getting dark out here. Time to look for shelter. Just absolutely nothing to worry about. Just I uh, can't be bothered to fix any of them right now. Okay, and then I think do we go down further here? Yeah, we go down further and then across. So I'm not even going to bother to harvest anything Need here, something. I don't think. We could pick up some sticks, but I think we'll just head down. All right, Frankie, don't worry. I'm coming home. All right, so let's do an estimate. So let's say it was nine hours inside plus an extra hour walking around, so 10 hours inside. So then the two hours there and back would have been another hour after you account for the burn bonus. So I'm estimating we have one hour left on the fire. See how close that is. One hour forty six. Not even close. Put this down for now. Look this last piece of meat. Um, now, because I screwed up my well-fed buff, we're probably not going to want to make a trip into Milton. I think I'm just going to sleep the minimum 10 hours tonight. Just to heal. 
We're not going to be doing any long trips until we get that buff back. It's just the, uh... Just the nature of things. Um, we do have an absolute ton of scrap metal now. 19 plus the stuff I have up near camp office. So that right there is enough to make a ha uh, three hatchets, and then what we have up near camp office is enough to make a fourth. Probably have enough metal lying around somewhere to make a fifth. Probably don't want to make more than five or six hatchets anyway, so I think that's probably good. Yeah, I've got five in here. So let's actually... Um, Let's actually drop another couple of these off. And while I'm at it, I've got some other ingredients. Let's put, um... Tarmigan down in here. And Old Man's Beard in the other drawer. Okay, I'm going to do some clothing repairs, and then we're going to sleep 10 hours to heal, and at that point, probably be time to call it an episode. I'm going to make sure I've got these bear skirts, uh, bearskin coats on in the right order. And it's almost time to repair one of these, I think. Probably let this get down closer to 80 before we do a repair on it. So I think I'll do the socks and the underwear, the hat, deerskin pants. That's probably about it. So I need a little bit more cloth. And a deer hide. And I guess we have no more meat to cook right now. I guess I could keep making water. Just gonna try to clean this up a little bit if we're gonna add to it. Actually, I prefer to let those get a bit lower. I forgot how much those repair for. This one I'm fine with spending it, because these give more. And then the hat. Okay, and then we should probably See, it's really just the deerskin pants I want to do, so... Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and do this now. Just because I need to wait for that water to boil before I start the deerskin pants. Oh, we failed it anyway. Perfect. Knew I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> Alright, let's start a new batch of water. Hour and 25 minutes. I guess technically better to fail on the um, on that than the deerskin pants. Although technically, it's easier to get more deerskins than it is to get more cloth at a certain point. 
though. Maybe not. All right. I think um, I think we're good. Put down some of the water. We're finally ready to eat and drink, heal, and call it a day here. Really productive day. Fire starting five. We've got pretty much everything we need. I do want to make one last pass for Birch Park, so I guess we can do that um, while we're waiting to get well fed back. And then um, we're ready to go do this massive forging session where we go back and forth and craft all the hatchets. Go need a couple of pieces of meat. Get the timer started on getting well fed back. Double check fire duration. Always need to do that. Yeah, it's a little bit low. So let's throw a couple pieces of fur on. Probably can only fit one, but. Yeah. Because it gives so much now. Alright, here we go. 10 hours of sleep. Get healed up. Well, we keep checking off. All the milestones. Um, that's fire starting five done. Soon we'll have the loose hide satchel done. Pretty soon there's not going to be much left to do. All right, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching.